Hi guys, so it's your girl Tando. Hello my tea lovers. Thank you once again for the people who have been continuing subscribing and the people who have shared my previous video. It actually has a lot of views. Thank you so much. Today I'm going to give you a tour for my apartment. I'm going to show you my apartment. So I'm going to be speaking behind the camera most of the time. I'm not going to do a voiceover because I feel that's going to waste a lot of time. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, and excuse my hair. It's not dirty. It's just a lot of uh, shea butter. I did wash it yesterday. So as you know, when you sprinkle some water, that shea butter comes back. And my people here are going to get a scare of a lifetime because I've never actually shown them my hair. So today is going to be really interesting. I'm going to be literally the talk of the town. With that all being said, enjoy my video and thank you once again for watching. See you a bit later at the end of the video. I am currently standing in the passage. So... There's not a lot of light. I have three neighbors. Three neighbors. One, two, the lift, and three. But this is my apartment. Apartment 1701. I'm on the 17th floor. Unfortunately, I have to use a key to get into my apartment. It's not modern. It's a very old system. Open sesame. This door is really, really, really noisy. So, as soon as you come into my apartment, you will see the living room. So, I'm currently standing in a small hallway. But, as you can see, there's a living room with a TV. But, I'm going to start with the rooms that are currently opposite each other. On my left is the kitchen this is a big kitchen I must say I've seen quite a lot of small kitchens so you can see how big it is it doesn't have a lot of storage really because underneath the sink there are more pots and then when you open it it's quite small so the the, um, the dishes are quite clumped together and the food that you also have to keep in there so it's not really a lot so you will get your basic um two plate gas stove gas is very famous in china so you'll get your basic gas stove that over there is mine i bought it because i like to grill meat and you will get your fridge basic fridge really so yeah on top of there i have my apples fruit type of thing yeah this is quite a big um big enough kitchen two people can fit i've seen a lot that it, two people can even fit in there without saying excuse me can i pause but anyways on my right is the bedroom no not the bedroom the bathroom the least favorite so china they will have a inside geyser heater type of thing for your um shower so this bathroom bathroom i normally just store my cleaning equipment as you can see this is the shower and the westernized toilet so that's awesome so let's come into the living room or tv room it's also big the nice thing about in a town in a small town being in a small town you will have big spaces for your apartment okay square meters i think it's about 92 square meters or something like that this is the basic couch that i never really use because it's not comfortable i don't sit here a lot the tv is in chinese but they are some um old not very old like maybe from last year movies that i sometimes watch and they are not all in chinese and i also do my exercise here yoga anything really i work out here so when you look at the back of the couch you will see my microwave snacks boxes those boxes they belong to the previous chinese teacher who was here he still needs to come and fetch them 
you can see my raincoat and my steam iron right next to it so this is a three bedroom house so this is the room i arrived in when i came here last year it's not big so i have turned this into my hair studio so this is where i do most of my wigs as you can see uh, I also do wigs for other people when they ask so I've turned this room into a hair studio Since I have been alone since September Those are my traveling bags. This was not here. This closet was not here when I came I had to request it Because I was like, how am I gonna store my clothes? I can't leave off of my traveling bag and this is the view from this bedroom um this neighboring neighboring building is the same as mine so they are very tall 25 floors each and then the town is basically there that side i hope i don't drop this phone so the town is the furthest buildings those you can see at the back we have the villages and the main road to the villages so it's quite green that's something i also like about this town it's green we don't have to wear masks every day actually the last time i wore a mask was when it was winter because i ride a bike so i have to block the wind coming in strongly to my face this is the second bedroom it has two beds I did my laundry <laughs> to uh, yesterday so I have my bedding here basic bedding for it to dry so I just come and put it here but sometimes if you've noticed on my other previous videos I do sit here as you can see there's a chair to do my YouTube videos it depends where the natural light is best at so still get the same view greenish view to the other side now let's move on to the oh these are heaters these babies will heat your your house up or your room up quite nicely i've heard but i didn't use them as you can see i have a big one here two of them actually yeah and there but you have to pay an extra price for for them to switch it on during winter I didn't have to do it because I have an aircon and an electric blanket and it wasn't that cold because I'm in the south so I'm prepared to burn this is the bedroom that I use as you can see more shoes a little flower from the students so I put it there let's start with the bathroom the bathroom I like because it has the window the other one if you notice it didn't have a window so but there's a problem this bathroom is big so i feel like they could have put a win uh, a window <laughs> they could have put a glass door you know shower glass door because my water runs from there down 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 down, down. as you can see there's a drain there but it doesn't go in it goes around my toilet and into this drain here so literally every time i finish showering i have to clean before the soap and the dirt dries out and there's not a lot of storage i have things on the window things this side and the small mirror and the small sink i don't really like it but moving on this is my bed i have on my teddy bear uh, my bag I'm about to go to work a little improv table here with my books and everything Again, I could have bought a nice table, but I didn't want to invest on this place because I knew that I'm gonna leave soon after a year and This is their closet Quite small. I don't have a lot of clothes, but I don't like them to be Cramped up, you know, I like to separate them Another downfall was that I have um, an air conditioner here, 
but it's directly on top of my head so every time I use it, since I get blocked notes quite easily, I have to change direction and sleep on the other side or maybe sit on the other side because I don't want to, to have a blocked nose. And then there's this, this curtain plastic thing. Wow. Okay. So summer here is quite windy, like last night. I hear each and every sound because I'm such a light sleeper. I feel that if you have a bedroom and it goes through the balcony, it should be separated by a door. At least a glass door would have been perfect than this. But anyways, this is my washing machine. They didn't cater for me and my clothes, wet clothes, so I put them in this rail here this window rail because I don't have anything to put it on a washing rack type of thing I sometimes do my YouTube videos here because I depend on natural light guys I have to move around and I didn't really invest on buying light from Taobao so this is the view from this side of the bedroom this is the training center for cars i'm not looking to buy any car so i don't know if they will actually allow foreigners to do their driver's license here but it's quite funny to watch them learn you have some terrible drivers help me and this is the view from my balcony the town is behind me as you see as you have seen from the previous room and here you are guys that's it for the tour i hope you liked it please don't forget to subscribe thank you once again for watching guys remember i didn't put a lot of effort in this apartment simply because i needed to do a lot of things at home and i'm currently still doing those things at home so i needed to save all of my money i didn't want to spend it unnecessary really because the apartment is perfect as it is for me and i needed as i said i needed to do a lot of things at home you know black text y'all so when i relocate to this place that i'm currently going to I want to actually do things for myself, you know, try to do things for myself, so help me God. So I didn't really invest a lot of these things. I could have bought a lot of things to make it homey, to make it beautiful, a little bit feminine, but no, I didn't want to do that because I knew I am not staying here for a long time. So the next one, it will be better than this. So thank you once again for watching please subscribe please like my videos share them as you have did with the previous one and uh comment on the comment section if you would like to me if you would like me to do any other videos vlogs and yeah so i will try to swallow my shyness and do a lot of vlogs outside for you guys so bye